So Peter Quillen vacated his WBO middleweight title rather than fight Matt Korobov for a purse of $1.4 million. It would have been three times the biggest purse he, had, purse he ever got. And I'm real disappointed in Pete. You know, I've defended him for years. I I like a, I like the way he fights. I like I like him as a person. I'm just real disappointed. I think he has shamed himself and he has shamed his supporters because I feel like he got a lot of undue hate from Golovkin fans who are never going to like a black boxer at all, no matter what he does. But he got a lot of undue hate. But really, I'm just ashamed of him today, and I know I'm done defending him. That said, I want to get into what Heyman was thinking. But these aren't excuses, though. Fuck Heyman and fuck Quillen. But this is what I think Heyman was probably thinking. The number one thing he was thinking is he, of course, he wanted to protect Quillen Zero. Korobov had a very nice amateur record. I think he had 300 wins to 15 losses. I want to say he had two amateur gold medals in competitions. So he was a he, and he was a, he was a good fighter. He would have clearly been the best fighter Peter Quillen has fought. That better than Rosado and better than Indom, in my opinion. The second reason I believe Heyman thinks that Canelo, a Canelo Quillen fight could possibly happen if Canelo chooses to move up, and I could see that happening. I guess he possibly thinks maybe it could be a three million dollar, three million dollar purse. So I think that was somewhere in the back of his mind, similar to when uh, Amir Khan refused to fight Devin Alexander because he thought a Floyd Mayweather fight was out there. He lost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and he looked like he was scared of Devin. Where I think I think it would have been a competitive fight. I don't think he was scared. The third reason is that Al Heyman already had a, a car schedule that night with his fighters Fonfora, Chad Dawson, and Kometa. And the, the, the main event for that fight was actually a purse bid that Warriors Boxing had won for over six hundred thousand dollars, and and I'm sure quit. I'm sure uh, Al Heyman didn't want to compete with himself because Showtime was not going to buy that fight. Was not going to buy it. Quillen versus Corbo, so it would have put a possibly been on HBO, or wouldn't have got any play. And so I'm sure hey, that was some, somewhere in Heyman's mind. The last reason. <laughs> is Heyman actually went to CAA and he asked them for help in raising $100 million to start a boxing network, an online boxing network, and they turned him down. Now, CAA and Jay-Z have a partnership, and that partnership is Rock Nation. So Al Heyman was able to block his competitor. Rock Nation had promised to have a car by the end of this year, and thanks to Al Heyman, that looks very much in doubt. So Heyman was able to kill the competition. And I, I, so this was best for Al Heyman for this fight not to happen. I've always defended Heyman because I felt like he did what was best for his fighters. But really, I, I think he humiliated. He helped humiliate Quillen. And Quillen, he looks so soft right now. And his, his fans are just so embarrassed. This is just pathetic.